Welcome to this short Qigong inspired yoga flow for winter. This flow will bring energy into your kidneys and help to revitalize you in those winter months. For this practice, you don't need any props, not even a yoga mat. You can do it standing. It's all done standing. You could also do it sitting in a chair. Let's start with our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. And you're just going to rotate from your hip bones side to side. With that, your arms are going to be at your sides, flowing with it. And this is going to cause you to knock on the door of life, stimulating your kidney chi, bringing you energy. Feel your feet connecting with the earth and reach out through the crown of your head so you're connecting with the sky. Now you're gonna bring your hands up to tap on your lung meridians, just below your shoulders. Your back hand is gonna still tap on your lower back. You're still letting your hips lead the movement. This is stimulating your lung meridians, helping you to breathe. The traditional Chinese medicine people believe that there are two ways to get energy. Through the air you breathe and through the food you eat. So when we breathe well, we get better energy. So it's good to be outside and get fresh air and also to teach our bodies how to breathe well. Moving from your hips. Of course, this movement also is great to release your spine as you're rotating. And then finally, we're going to release the tension that gathers up in your shoulders and causes frustration and just generally is not great, that <laughs> neck and shoulder tension. So you're gonna cup your hands and it's gonna tap you on your shoulders here as you twist and here as you twist. Still moving from your hips. So this upper back and neck <laughs> shoulder tension can be Kind of stubborn, so it's good to give yourself a, a good little whack here. And sorry, I'm probably this is probably pretty loud on my mic. <laughs> Stay long through your spine, moving through your hips. Back to your lungs. and back to your low back. And then we're gonna slow it down. This is called water waves. So you're still moving from your hips, your arms are just following. And it's as though your arms, you know, when you stand in the water, as though your arms are just floating through water effortlessly. And you're going to come to stillness and just pause here and feel that flow of chi through your body. Feel the energy that you've just cultivated.
Okay, so the next pose that we're going to do, you're going to do it from Tadasana, so your feet are going to be underneath your hips. You want to stand evenly between your toes and your heels. This is called bear pose. When we think of winter, we think of bears, right? Hibernating and storing that energy. So you're going to take your arms behind you, open your chest, so you're making like a round um, shape with your arms. So you're creating a storage for your kidney energy in your low back there when you stand. And it's a nice opening through your chest as well. So we're just gonna create that static standing posture here. Okay, so feeling the weight evenly distributed through your feet. Checking in with your pelvis, are you tipping water out of the front or the back? We wanna keep all the water in your pelvis. So making any necessary adjustments. Same thing with your rib cage. You're tipping water out of the back or the front. Ears over your shoulders. Soften through your jaw, soften through your throat and your heart. Reaching out through the crown of your head. Remember, feel the energy conservation happening in your kidneys here. You're storing energy for the winter. Breathing into your low back. You can imagine you're a big, tall polar bear. Okay, so you can let that relax and we're going to take all the energy that we've cultivated and stored in our kidneys and we're going to take it like it's in deep in the earth and bring it up the root of our tree now. So you're going to inhale, take your arms overhead, come up onto your toes and exhale, bring it into the branches of your tree. Come back center. Inhale, exhale, come down. So inhale, come up onto your toes. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, back center. Exhale, lower down. So you're imagining you're drawing the water up the roots of the trees, taking it into the branches. Inhale, up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, center. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale side bend. Inhale center. Exhale down. You're doing great. And we'll do one more each side. Drawing the water up to the branches. And then you're going to lower your arms down. You're going to drop your chin to your chest and you're going to roll all the way forward into a standing forward fold. Bend your knees slightly as well. Okay, from this rolled forward position, we're going to release those shoulders again just by swinging them from side to side. I think this is called old man.
And then we're going to slowly roll up. And then from standing, we're going to go back to another bear inspired move. So you're going to take a step back with your right foot now into a warrior one stance. And you're going to imagine you're like a bear in the water drawing all the salmon towards you. So you're drawing the energy to you. So now you're like a grizzly bear. And then you can step forward and we'll do that standing forward again. Bend your knee slightly, tuck your chin. You're going to roll down vertebra by vertebra. And swing your arms from side to side. And you're going to slowly roll back up to standing. And from standing this time, you'll walk your left foot back. So back into that warrior one stance. And then you're going to just draw all that energy towards you. Like a bear pulling fish in the water. Let your arms be soft and flowy. Getting all of that energy for your, conserving the energy for winter. The sun's come out. <laughs> Drawing that vital energy of the sun in. And then stepping forward again. And we'll fold forward again, release those shoulders again, bend your knees, tuck your chin, you're going to roll forward. And swing those arms side to side. Rolling up to standing. Reach up through the crown of your head, roll your shoulders back and down. Feel those shoulders nice and released now. We're going to take all that energy that we cultivate and we're going to draw into our lower Dantian, our C of Chi here. You're going to take your left hand here to hold. You're going to inhale, take your right hand up. Draw it down the midline. And then switch your hands. So you're going to draw in whatever you want to conserve, to, to cultivate, to hold in your sea of chi. So it might be healing energy. It might be vitality energy. Maybe it's love, gratitude. Forgiveness. Maybe it's abundance. Maybe it's joy. 
whatever you want to gather in and hold in this energy reserve in your lower belly. Okay, and then gathering that all in, placing your palms one over the other on the lower belly, bringing your feet in. And sealing that chi in, storing it for the winter. Knowing that you can come back and practice this class as many times as you want. Feel the energy that you cultivated in this Qi Gong inspired yoga flow for winter. Know that you're going to carry this energy with you into your day and that you will have it stored within you throughout the winter. <laughs> 